Hey guys, welcome to another daily tip episode here. Today is Tuesday, uh, February the 3rd, 2009. And last week we talked a little bit about creating a um, drum sample. And so I told you at the end of that episode that I was going to show you how to replace the, uh, use that sample to replace the snare inside of Easy Drummer. And uh, that's what I'm going to do today. I've already replaced the kick drum. So let's go ahead and see what that sounds like and hear how bad this stock snare that comes with um, the Easy Drummer drum kit from Hell sounds like. Now I'm going to turn off the uh, kicks uh, sample and listen to how that sounds. Very thin sounding, isn't it? Let's turn that back on. Alright, and now I'm going to use the same plugin for um, to replace the snare drum. And uh, what this plugin is called is it's called App Trigger 2. Um, this is a cheap drum replacement software. It's only like $60 US, I think. And uh, I'll put a link in the sidebar to the actual product. So let's go ahead and add this plugin onto our inserts. Go down to audio unit since I'm on a Mac, it's an audio unit. Plug in and let's go to stereo. Doesn't need to be stereo, but that's what it is. And now you see this very simple box right here. Uh got a bunch of different things here. We're not really gonna go over uh these little other controls here. I'm just gonna show you how to replace the snare. But uh if you have real drums and you're going to replace your real snare that you recorded, you would use some of these extra uh, functions here to get a uh, better trigger, uh, better sensitivity, and things like that. So uh, if you haven't already noticed, there's a load sample and remove sample button down here at the bottom. And to get the sample, we're going to go ahead and load. And we're going to go ahead and go to the place where I saved that at last time. I think this is it. Yep. And we're going to add snare hit 2. That's the one I exported from the last tutorial. Okay. Now let's hear what this sounds. It's probably going to be a little loud, actually. I'm going to go ahead and turn the level down. You can turn the level down of the actual sample right here inside of App Trigger. Turn it down 1.3 dBs basically. Alright, let's go ahead and listen to that. Still a little loud. That's better. Okay. Now you'll notice that this little fill here. The uh, snare gets a little repetitive, so I'm actually going to add another sample. You can add uh, more samples by clicking this number two and then when we add number two there'll be a number three and so on and uh, I'm going to load another one here I'm going to load this one and now I'm just going to mess with this output here the output signal and this is going to control the amount of uh, which sample uh, triggers when basically and actually to make this a little uh, more distinguishable, I'm going to go ahead and pitch these up. I'm going to pitch this one up, way up, and I'm going to pitch this one down so we can tell the difference. You just basically just want to mess with these these controls until you get the sound that you're looking for. That's pretty good right there. That's 
pretty nice. So, basically, that's pretty much it for replacing the uh, snare drum. Um, I made my own custom beat here because I don't really like a lot of the um, beats inside of Easy Drummer. But, um, yeah, I'll probably talk about creating beats uh, with the piano roll editor in another video, another daily tip. So, uh, I guess that's going to be pretty much it. Um, definitely head out over to our website www.limitless-studios.com and uh, head on over to our forum here open the forum up and register and uh, if you have any ideas or requests you can post them in the request ideas or you can just send us an email or anything like that so um, yep that's gonna be it and uh, we'll see you in another daily tip